Yeah, let's go. Uh, yeah, yeah. We came a long way. That's what the song say. And I could do all Today, from TIAA Bankfield in Jacksonville, Florida, this is the National Football League. It's the Jacksonville Jaguars taking on the Arizona Cardinals. EA Sports coverage of the NFL brings us to the Sunshine State in TIAA Bank Field here in Jacksonville. This crowd excited to see their Jaguars as both teams emerge from their tunnels a moment ago. We are just about ready for football as the Jags get set to match up with the Arizona Cardinals. Josh Lambeau set to go, and we are underway here in Jacksonville. Fields it in the middle of the end zone, and he opts to not bring this one out. The first drive will start at the 25. The Cardinals now getting set to go offensively, and it'll be the dual threat quarterback, Kyler Murray, leading the way. And this could be a whole lot of fun because if his game plan goes into effect early, we're going to see some shots downfield, aren't we? What did he talk to us about? Stretching the field. He wants to open things up for not just his receivers, but for anything underneath. Well, that was the theme, the front page of the sports section. What did the columnists write? Possible air raid. So we'll see. Yeah, it's going to be interesting to see how the coaches view that, right? What? Who gave away the game plan? <laughs> I think it's pretty obvious, though. That'll help them win. Ball on the 30, they'll come up with a second and five. Throwing now is Murray. This one grabbed by A.J. Green. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. Give them 14 on that one and a first down. They'll run for the first time with James Conner. And he's going to bull his way forward to the 48. Call it a gain of four on first, and that'll make it second down. From the gun, Murray. Under pressure here, and down he goes. Shaq back at about the 43-yard line. Josh Allen in there to get him. It's a loss of five. Boy, he came in off the edge so quickly there. Look out, because that's exactly what it was being shouted by the offensive lineman to his quarterback because he had no chance to block him. Well, that last sack puts Murray and the cards in a tough spot. Third and long. Murray now. He'll air this one out for Kirk. And this is taken in at the five. And he takes it down deep into enemy territory. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. Certainly not what they wanted defensively. We're hoping to hold them to a field goal. Instead, they're able to convert the third and long here on the opening drive. So not only was it a flipping field position and a flipping fortunes, but how about mentally? You just described it. 
They were hoping to force them into a field goal there. Instead, they give up the big gain, and now it's first and goal. The offense has got them on their heels. A terrific opening drive has them knocking on the door, first and goal. They'll run here with Connor, and he is into the end zone. Touchdown, Arizona. Taking it in from four yards out. And the Cardinals take it all the way down the field and score on the opening drive. Nice job of polishing off that drive, but all the credit there goes to that play prior. Yeah, it certainly does, because after that big play, I think resistance almost felt futile at that point, didn't it? And the very next play, they come right back, quick, fast, and in a hurry, and put it in the end zone. Now Matt Prater for the point after. And the Cardinals will go up 7 to nothing. That drive goes 80 yards in six plays. And it was a touchdown run by James Conner that was the exclamation mark. After the touchdown, out is Prater to kick. To return, here's Agnew. And a decent return out to the 27-yard line. So here's the first drive now for the Jags. And their quarterback, well, everyone knows he's got height, standing at 6'6". And what I'm looking for from him today, the things every quarterback is looking to do lead his team to a victory. Doesn't matter whether he's throwing it, running it, handing it off, however he has to do it, as well as exhibiting some leadership, that's what he's trying to accomplish. Now the first play of the drive there is incomplete. That's what you're going to need to do against those big receivers. You got to get in there and get physical with them. That time he got in close, got in tight, and knocked the ball away. Second and 10 now from the 27. He's going to flip one out here to his running back. And he'll get to the 29-yard line brought down there. Now we're going to get a stoppage here as we've got an injured Cardinal on the field. While the training staff works on him, we'll step aside and be right back. And they're left looking at third and eight after the second down pass play only went for two. From the shotgun, he'll look to throw. The cards get to him here. He's brought down for a sack. The start of this game shaping up nicely on that visiting sideline. Yeah, how about that? You get your points on the opening drive. Then you get a big sack there on third down. And you make the home crowd go, shh. There is a hush indeed. <laughs> on fourth down, on is Logan Cook to punt. A fair catch signaled for and taken successfully. They'll call that a 33-yard punt with no return. And the Cards will take over first and 10. 
So the Cardinals offense back onto the field here for their second drive of the game. And they'll be looking to make this a two-score advantage. Had the touchdown on their first drive, Charles. Hey, they can get up two scores here on the road. That's a heck of a start. And not only have they thought about it, I wonder if they visualized it. I remember playing, and they used to turn the lights out in our meeting room and run through a situation like this and say, just think about what it would be like to be up on the road and take the crowd out of it. Maybe they did some of that. They gave up the completion there, but this is what zone defenses count on catching the ball and not much run after the catch. That first down completion only netted him three. Second and seven. Out of the gun, here's Murray. He'll try and run it. Murray has it knocked loose, fumble, and the Jags grab it. And he's able to bring it up five yards shy of midfield to the 45-yard line. In their locker room, they've got a sign that says defense wins championships. And Charles, they pointed to that this week, said that has to be us looking good early. I like how you saw that because of the bold letters, right? You saw the emphasis that they place on that and what they believe in. And for them, it's every single snap. So it's not just a matter of getting to the quarterback and knocking the ball free. They're trying to read when that ball's going to come free. As soon as those hands separate to throw the ball, they want to be there and have a chance to knock it out. Now on first down, he'll drop to throw it. And he'll let this one go deep for Chark. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. But they certainly came out firing in this one, and while that one was incomplete, I can't imagine that'll be the last shot that they take in this game. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. Incomplete. That was well defended. They clamped down on every available receiver. Just got to give the win to the defense on that snap. The threat of a second straight punt to start the game is looming as they come up third and ten. Out of the gun, they'll look to throw. Can't get away, and he's taken down. J.J. Watt that time, able to do what he does best, and that's sack the quarterback. Here's Logan Cook now, as he'll punt it away for the second time. Oh, this is off the side of his foot. And the punt goes out of bounds. Where will they put it? They'll put it just inside the 45-yard line. The football going back over to Arizona now. Yeah, last drive, obviously not what you're looking for. You've got the lead. You've got to protect the football. So in other words, someone got lucky because they've been moving the ball really well and wearing them down. In this case, though, giving up the football doesn't make them very happy. They can't wait to get back out there and atone for it. Yeah, try to atone for it here on this drive. That one good for 10 yards. And that'll make it second and a foot or so. this out right for Connor and he is close to a first down as he's tackled at the Jaguars 44 now after the running play we've got a man down on the field we'll check on his status when we get back Right back to Cotter here on first. 
The tackle made by the linebacker, Joe Schobert. Close to a first down as he's tackled at the Jaguars 36. And the Jags with five in the secondary now on third down. Shotgun now for Murray. And that's going to be incomplete. The contact there enough to jar that ball free. And it brings up fourth down. Normally you think the tight end is going to be able to catch the football and handle that contact. But in this case, maybe a little too much target to hit. That one was timed well. Incomplete. So the kick from here on a field goal would have been right at 53 yards. But instead, offense out there. They're going for it. They'll run for it with Connor. And he's able to get it to the 33. Good enough for a first down. Just a gain of three, but they'll certainly take it as they convert on fourth down. Fourth and two in the NFL, not ordinarily a running down anymore. Usually that ball is moved through the air. They went ahead and gave it to the back, and he ends up picking up the first down. I'm not sure if they fooled him as much as they just did a nice job executing. Needed two, and they got three. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. Give him 16 yards there, and it's a Cardinals first down as well. zone. Here's the Heisman Trophy winner Murray. And nearly picked off there. Almost intercepted. Instead, second down. I think he's got to be careful not to force anything into coverage right there. There weren't really any throwing lanes. But the best part for him, he's got second and third down to fall back on. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. Here's Connor. And they'll bring him down at the 13-yard line. Four yards the gain, and it'll bring up a third down. from the gun. Murray. He's got his man. It's caught in the end zone. Touchdown Arizona. Murray able to connect with Christian Kirk. And the Cardinals now adding on to their lead. Prater on to add the extra point. And it's good to make it 14-0. So that one a pretty time-consuming 10-play drive. And the Cardinals cap it with a touchdown. After the touchdown, out is Prater to kick. To return, here's Agnew. 
And able to get this out to the 25. And out now comes Jacksonville as they get ready to go. And this is their third drive right now. Maybe not about points, just about getting something. They haven't gotten a first down yet in this game. It's a mental barrier you don't think about until you go a couple of drives without getting a first down. Then all of a sudden it looms big. It gets harder and harder to actually attain that first first down. LaVisca Chenault, the intended target. But it'll be second down. And that one going to be off target and incomplete. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. And they'll run it. This is James Robinson. He'll have a first down past the 40 as they finally wrangle him in at the 48. 22 yards there, a first down. This is a little bit like baseball here. Strong up the middle. Both sides want to be that. In this case, the offense ends up winning the ultimate battle. And those big runs between the tackles, that's a little deflating for a defense, isn't it? It really is because that's where your strength's supposed to be. You're supposed to be in a spot where they can't make that yardage there. You're supposed to send them outside. Not in this case. On first down, he'll drop to throw. Brought in here by Tyler Eifert. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. That'll wind up a gain of 27 on the catch and run. And that tight end position, it just seems to continue to evolve every year in the NFL. Yeah, you're getting really terrific athletes. A lot of them maybe were wide receivers at one point. They continue to give you speed, great hands, and big bodies, which make them excellent targets for quarterbacks. So in the Cardinal territory now. It's first and 10 at the 26-yard line. They'll look to throw. Caught Eifert over the middle. And down he goes, taking it inside the 10, just shy of the 5 at the 6. They go right back to him for 20 and a first. And this offense can get their tight ends involved. They can move the football. Here, a nice route, able to look it in, and picks up the first down. The Jags with their first opportunity in the red zone. They've got a first and goal to go at the seven. And a minuscule gain of maybe a yard from the six to the five. And the ball smack dab on the five yard line. Here's second and goal. And he takes it in. Touchdown, Jacksonville. A five-yard touchdown. And the Jaguars are back within a score. The tight end position has always been dangerous, especially in the red zone, short field. But now even more so because these tight ends aren't necessarily the tight ends of old. They're the rocked-up wide receivers who have a little bit more speed, way harder to cover than before. Josh Lambeau now for the point after. And that one makes it 14 to 7. So that drives six plays, 75 yards. And it results in a touchdown for Jacksonville. the touchdown he'll kick this one away returning it Johnson and out a little across the 25 to the 27 
Here's the Arizona offense now as they get set to take over. And they're hoping to redo their efforts in the last drive when they got into the end zone. And just think of what it's like now on the sideline because when you score a touchdown, you have to go over and look at the tablet and see what you did on the last drive. When you scored points, it's a whole lot better view than when you're trying to figure out how to fix things there. Murray now on first down. Oh, he's able to outmuscle him here as he pulls it in. First play of the drive going for 14 and a first down. I don't care who you put on him, he's going to be a handful in one-on-one -on -one throws. Yeah, right now, you're right. They're in man-to-man, -man, maybe need some safety help. I would say that'd be a good idea. Double-team him somehow. I'm going to have to make someone else beat me rather than let him shred my defense. on first down is Murray. Got a man over the middle. It's Williams. Three yards the gain there. Second down. Not a big window to throw. Coverage wasn't too bad there. Yeah, they had him under wraps pretty well, but somehow able to muscle his way open and catch the ball. That first down completion only netted him three. Second and seven. Here's Connor, and he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. It'll go down as a two-yard loss, and it brings up a third down. Through one corner, 14-7, our score. The Cardinals on third down. They've been okay, two for three thus far. This is third and nine. From the gun, Murray. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. A Cardinal first down, Murray to Hopkins. It's a game of matchups, and that's why you take your receivers and move them around a bunch, especially your best guys. And when they work out of the slot, you often hear the coaches talk about how great it is because it gives you a two-way go. You can break out or you can break in. That makes it hard to defend. So in Jacksonville territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 46. Operating from the gun, Murray. He'll get that one complete to Connor. Give him six on the play, and that'll make this a second down. the gun. Murray. He almost had it. The big D lineman nearly had an interception. Instead, it falls down incomplete. That pass just a little bit off. It looked like maybe he tried to force it in there. Game speed, always different, no matter what you do in practice. You can't simulate it, right? So your decision making, everything has to be a little bit quicker. Sometimes it can throw you off until you adjust. And able to find Kirk complete. And he takes this just a few yards shy of the red zone before going out. He's up to 87 yards receiving now, and it's a first down. Again, they'll throw with Murray. Stepping up, he'll try and run. He'll get just a yard on the scramble. It's second down. <laughs> Operating. 
operating from the gun. Murray, Murray fighting, lost the football, and the Jags grab it. He's at the 50, the 30, past the 20, and he brings this one back. A fumble return for a Jacksonville score. Second time he's lost a fumble. This one hurts more. It's returned for six. He's been under a lot of duress, hasn't he? Pressured, hurried, harassed the whole game. Well, but the offensive line not giving him a lot of help. Not a lot of help, but the bottom line, he's got to take care of the football. Lambeau on for the extra point. And we've got a good one brewing. We're all knotted up at 14. So not only the cough up, but then the pickup on the other side, the scoop, and the score the other way, the fumble return for a touchdown. This one tied at 14 now as he sends this one away. That'll be taken about a yard deep. And he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee, maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. Arizona getting ready to go as they take the field. And in just about every game we see, partner, what do we do when we look at the stat sheet? We go right to the turnover differential. Without a doubt, because when we see that, that pretty much tells the tale of the game. And I know there's still plenty of time to go, but you've got to take care of the football in order to win it. Murray and the Cardinals with a first and 10 at their own 24. They'll start the drive with a give to Connor. And not much to speak of. Call it a one-yard gain up to the 26. Last play got just a yard. Here's second and nine from the 26. On the run is Connor. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. 15 yards on the play, first down. Nothing too fancy, just a carry up the middle, but a successful carry up the middle against his 3-4 defense. And to be able to do that, what do you have to control? the nose guard, right? Got to be able to move him. Otherwise, you're not getting anything up the middle. Nice job by the center. Got a little help from one of his friends playing guard. First down, Edmonds. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. 17 more yards on that one as they keep the drive rolling. So in Jacksonville territory now. Here's a first and 10 at the 43. And now Murray's going to set up the throw. Got his man complete over the middle. That's Brewer. And he'll get this one down near the 20-yard line, just shy of the 20. That good for 21 yards on the catch and run. As far as tight ends go, this guy's not a speed burner. He's much more of an inline blocking type of a tight end. But how about this last play? Made a nice catch and picked up a first down. That's what impresses me about him. When he's called upon, usually gets it done. <laughs> On 
first and ten. Here's Murray eluding the pressure right. They showed off the athletic juke. Good little gain there. Not a whole lot of real estate, but a nice carry. To throw again on second down. Murray on the slant complete to Hopkins. And the Cardinals are going to have a first and goal as the tackle is made at about the five. Third catch of this first half for him, and this one is a first down. Here's Murray as he sets to throw it. And he'll be brought down here at the three-yard line. Give him a couple on the scramble. It's second down. gun Murray and that's going to be caught by Kirk for a Cardinals touchdown Christian Kirk with his second touchdown here in this first half and the Cardinals have taken the lead now he's having a nice little first half here partner and it's a first half that leaves us anticipating what can still come I mean two touchdowns already here through the second quarter there could be plenty more before this game is over Now Prater to add the PAT. It's up and good, and that'll make the score 21-14. So that one, an eight-play drive. It spans 75 yards, and it winds up in a touchdown for Arizona. After the touchdown, out is Prater to kick. Fielded a couple yards into the end zone. And down he goes just shy of the 25. Now, penalty marker is down. Let's see what that's about. Bring it up, bring it up, bring it up. Well, that holding call set him up with not great field position. Not at all when you tack on the penalty. But that field position after the return wasn't terrific. It's not a great starting field position as well. Marcus Golden credit him with a sack as he buries him for a loss of 10. As I was watching the play unfold, my eyes immediately went to the referee because I wanted to see, was he going to put those two hands over his head and that <laughs> universal signal for a safety? But it's at the one-yard line. You know you're playing with fire when you get sacked that close to the goal line. Sacks, a growing theme in this first half. This is second and long. They'll run here with Robinson. And he'll get him a little space here up to the five-yard line. Give him four yards there, but still in a big hole. Third and long. Robinson and he'll take this forward only up to about the seven two yards on the pickup there it's fourth down 
we often talk of situational football. Let's just call it team football. The defense did their job, got off the field, brought up a punting situation, so they're turning the ball back over to their offense. You think those guys would get along very well right now? Of course they will. Defense helped the offense. Now it's their turn to take it downfield. Here's Logan Cook now as he's on to punt for Jacksonville. He's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. Now he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. A very nice punt that time, but they get 11 back on the return. And the Cardinals, great field position to start this drive as they take over first and 10. So from the 36 now, first and 10. On play action, it's Murray. Throw right side, complete to Williams. A good rally to the football, keeps him to only a yard, and it's second down. from the gun. Murray. Green with a catch left side. This will be a gain of about eight to the 27-yard line. Eight yards on the completion, but now they face third down. They'll try and run for it with Connor. And he's going to get the first down here as he's taken down at the 22. Give him the third down conversion, five yards on the play. But not a fun game at all for anyone who's playing defense on the field at this point. They just gave up another first down on another good run. I wonder if the defense coordinator just says, let's sell out, play against the run, and not worry about getting beat by the pass. Connor and they'll get him down right about the 20 two yards on the pickup there it'll be second and eight from the gun Murray over the middle complete that's Williams and they'll bring him down at the 13-yard line. It'll be a gain of eight yards, and that's going to make it third down and less than a yard. Two minutes remaining in this first half of football. Coming up here at halftime, we'll ship you off to Orlando. Jonathan Coachman will have first-half highlights and analysis from a back-and-forth first half that we've seen. He's got his man. It's Williams. And the Cardinals are going to have a first and goal coming up as they find a way to convert there on third and one. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. They've looked his way quite a bit, and in my estimation, as well they should. Well, that's now five catches in this first half alone. And he picks up another first down. He's been an important part of their offense here early. A chance to really cap off a big first half here as they come up on first and goal. They'll try to run it. This is Connor. And he gets halfway there down to the one-yard line. Only a yard that time, second and goal. It is definitely hard to find space near the goal line. You always want to have a guy in the game running it who can create his own. Second and goal from the one. And he'll actually lose a little bit of yardage here. Back to the two. That'll be a loss of a yard, and it leads to a third down. 
Well, that's going to bring up a big call now because he's unable to make the play himself on second down. Now you just have to wonder, will they keep the ball in his hands on third down? The Cardinals going to use the first of their timeouts as he'll stop it with just over a minute to go before halftime. A big play forthcoming. Here's third and goal. They'll try to run with Edmonds. The Jaguars going to go ahead and use their first timeout as the stoppage will come with a little under a minute to go in this first half. A field goal would make it a two-score game, but they're going to go aggressive. They're going to try this thing on fourth and goal. Well, look at this, a tight end carry. And he's not going to get in. They stop him at the one. They're turned away on fourth and goal. And the Jaguars are able to come up with a goal line stand. There he is, the man taking the snaps under center, heading out for the next possession. What can they do now, Charles, to make sure this highlight montage doesn't continue to show more pressure and pressure and pressure? You feel like it always comes back to leverage, don't you? Who is going to win that battle, the offensive and defensive lines? Low man wins, we talk about that, but we think about it in a running game. But guess what, the same thing happens when you're trying to pass protect. Are you low, are you balanced, are you in a position where the pass rush won't bowl you over on their way back to the quarterback? They've got to reestablish that in order to try and keep their man upright. Because they have been bowled over a lot so far in this one. From down at the 12, it's first and 10. Now they'll throw here, out of the gun. Throwing over the middle, but it's incomplete. That was a nice job defensively of disguising their coverage and making it difficult for the quarterback to lock in on a receiver, and it results in an incomplete pass. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and 10. And able to get this one out just shy of the 25 at the 24. A gain of 13, it's a first down. Now the Jags are moving quickly in the hurry up. 58, come on. Six man. Check curls, check curls, check curls. 48, 48, come on. 48, come on. Oh yeah, oh yeah. And here we go again. Here we go again. Check, 48, come on. I got him, I got him. They'll throw now on the final play. He's going to float this one deep right side. It's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. So we have reached halftime with a touchdown. That's the difference on the scoreboard. As we send you a couple hours south of here to Orlando, that's where we check in with a coach and our EA Sports halftime report. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. And welcome in, everyone, to an abbreviated version of the EA Sports halftime report. It was James Conner who led the way in that first half. He's thrown for close to 200 yards already, and that's helped propel his guys into the lead as we send you back to Brandon Godden. Okay, Coach, appreciate it. A one-touchdown game here as we get set to resume play in the second half.
The Jaguars with work to do. They trail here as we are back underway on EA Sports. And he won't quite make it to the 25. Out come the Jaguars now as he'll go on offense first here in this third quarter. They're down here, but very much in this game. What's the tonality of a coach's talk when a game is within striking distance like this at intermission? Typically, what they're doing is emphasizing the things that went well in the first half and wanting more of that. Sure, you've got to go over some of the errors and clean up some things because there's a reason you're down. But overall, I think they want to stay positive, stay up with this team. We're just starting the second half, and we've got the football. Let's go ahead and punch it in, and then we'll take it from there. See how that recipe works. The run got four. Now they deal with a second and six. Check 50, check 50. <laughs> Pressure comes, and the Cardinals bring him down. J.J. Watt picks up his second sack of the afternoon. And that's his second sack of the game, but this player, disruptive in all phases, whether he's going upfield, coming underneath, you name it. He's a big-time guy you have to block. The cards going nickel. An extra defensive back out there now on third down. Now a shotgun snap as they'll look to throw. And he'll let this one go deep for Chark. He's got a man complete. And he will have a Jaguars first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. How about that? They weather the storm of a third and 17 to pick up the first. Now that one hurts defensively. They force him into third and long, had the advantage, yet they give up the big play right there. Yeah, their offense was already warming up on the sideline, ready to come out. So much for that three and out. So the line of scrimmage moves all the way across the 50 now as they come up first and 10. Back to throw here. To the left side here for Eifert. And he's able to take it across midfield before going out of bounds. Three yards the gain there, second down. I don't care what sport you're playing. Everyone likes to build up a little momentum, don't they? And look at this, back-to-back -back completions to the big target at tight end. That one not as profitable as the other, but still a decent game. Now a first carry for their fullback. And he's going to be met at about the 43. Three yards is half of what they needed. Now can they get the other three here on third down? They're going to look to throw. It's caught, Jones. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. Well, that's one way to convert on third down, picking up 26 yards. This drive, it's been a good mix. Three passing plays, three runs, hitting on all three of those passes, and the last one putting them in the red zone. So wouldn't you think play action right here? Because you've got the ability and had the ability to run it and throw it. Go play action and take your shot at the end zone. So from the 17 now, here's a first and 10. They run, Robinson. And he'll get him inside the 15 down to the 14-yard line. It's a pickup of four, and it'll bring up second down. This will be caught at about the six. And the Jaguars are looking at first and goal as he's tackled all the way down at the two-yard line. Third catch for him on this drive alone, and it'll give him a first down.
They'll try and run. This is Robinson. And he pushes forward but comes up short of the goal line as he'll get a yard down to about the one. Second and goal from the one. Again, it's Robinson. And not able to break away this time as they're going to stop him right around the line of scrimmage. Officially, it will go as a one-yard loss, and that's going to lead to a third down. I know they'd love to take some heat off of that young quarterback, but so far, not much in the running game, and this won't help things either. A loss on that play. Now a third and goal situation as this Arizona defense tries to stand tall once more. They'll set up a throw. Now they're staring at a fourth down as Arizona's defense does its job. So they opted to pass for it on third and goal. Let's see what they do on fourth and goal. Well, I think they threw it with the idea that if they didn't get it, they would go for it on fourth and goal. So they've got another play in their pocket. They're going to have to call it right now. No field goal here. And they'll let the fullback try and take them home. And he'll take this into the end zone. Touchdown, Jacksonville. Taking it in from two yards out. And the Jaguars are within an extra point of tying this one up. And Charles, maybe that's one they had dialed up. Hey, if we're in a fourth and goal situation, we're going to our muscle. And you can feel the boom, boom, boom all the way up here where we sit. The earth was shaking, and he found his way into the end zone. Yeah, but that's such a, a great guy to have around the goal line, isn't it? Indeed it is. It's a great extra dimension to add to your offense. When you can finish things with power, that's hard for a defense to deal with. He's got it, and we're all tied at 21. So that drive, 12 plays in length, and it's culminated by a two-yard touchdown run. Nothing separating these two teams on the scoreboard as the kick's away here. And he'll be tackled just shy of the 25. The Cardinals offense now ready to get their first opportunity here in the second half. And last time this unit was out here, costly turnover, and then that turned into six points. They've got to make amends. And how many times have we sat in meetings with coaches and they use the term complimentary football? <laughs> offense take care of the defense, defense take care of the offense. That didn't happen on the last possession. This is a chance for them to pick themselves back up and help their team. Yeah, we'll see if they can recoup and recover. Yeah, give him four yards there. It'll be second and six. Out of the gun, here's Murray. And a green with a catch left side. And he's out of bounds, able to take this one up to the 35. Seven yards there and a first down. All that practice time came to fruition on that play. All those timing routes that they work on through training camp, OTAs, mini camp, and just regular season, they got it done on that one. An out cut, ball was delivered, and picked up the completion. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Going to run the sweep here. This is Hopkins. And now a fumble. The ball's out. 
And the Jags grab it, and they will set up shot in enemy territory at the 42-yard line. Now out comes their leader and the captain of this offense back onto the field. He's been pretty solid, pretty consistent. Just the one touchdown pass, but I think he's managed the game well, no? I would agree with you, and that's what you're looking for out of your field leader, making sure that you're playing well and not making any big mistakes. Oftentimes, that's how you're judged, mm -hmm. how big a mistake and when it occurs. No interception so far. They'll like that. I just want you to know that you agreeing with me, that's going to get me through this third and fourth quarter. Are you touched? <laughs> He's patting his heart, boys and girls. He's touched. Respect. Here's second and eight. And they're going to get him. He's taken down for a sack back at the 47-yard line. J.J. Watt able to disrupt yet another pass play. That is his third sack of the afternoon. It felt like he was in the pocket all day, never got rid of it. And when you have that much time, you've got to either find someone open or get rid of it because with that amount of time to throw the ball, that means the offensive line's done a really nice job. And the Cardinals, they trot out their dime package for third down. He'll look to throw. Oh, the pressure too great, and he goes down once more. Jordan Hicks, he's the one to get him this time, and back-to-back -back sacks brings up fourth down. They were trying to set up that screen, trying to get that screen to formulate. Took too long. Ends up taking a sack, and that leads you to a couple of other questions. Number one, why don't you just get rid of the football near the screen, guy, so that you don't take an interception? But really, the big one, they just took everything away, and he was really kind of flummoxed on that play and ended up taking the sack. Here's Logan Cook now. As the drive goes backwards, so he's on to punt it away. And now a low liner. I think he mishit it. This is fielded at the 27. Just a 25-yard punt. Not what he was hoping for by any stretch. And possession will switch. Hands first and 10. The football going back over to Arizona now. And a fumble last time. Ball security. Talk about it all the time in the National Football League. They've got to be better at it on this drive. Don't you think that when every team gets together for the first time, I don't care if it's OTAs, mini camps, first and first day of camp in the regular season, ball security comes up about, what, the second sentence of the coach's yeah. address? And those are so many drills focus on that. All the time, and they do drills to make it even tougher to simulate game situations. Doesn't always work out, though. From the 36, Murray. Open man is Kirk, complete. And he'll be out of bounds, but able to get it up past the 45. 12 yards there and a first down. That's a pretty throw right there. That ball's in the air a long time, but it's right on the money on the right sideline. A really good route. Moving the defenders towards the middle of the field before breaking to the sideline. What a completion there. Big time arm strength, very nice route. Inside four minutes to go, third quarter. First down, Murray. They'll get this to his running back, Edmonds. And yeah, this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. That last catch short of the marker by just a yard leaves him with a very manageable second and one. From the gun, Murray. Hopkins on the grab over the middle. He'll get this one down near the 20-yard line, just shy of the 20. That good for 21 yards on the catch and run. In so many ways, throwing the hitch route is actually one of the safer things an offense can do. Get the ball out to the receiver as fast as possible, hope he's got man-to-man -man coverage, and hope that his athleticism wins on the perimeter. Murray now on 
first down. Sliding out of the pocket. And he's taken down after a gain of three as they move it from the 22 to the 19. Second down, this is Edmonds. And he is close to a first down as he's tackled at the Jaguars' 13-yard line. A gain of three last play. This time they double it and pick up six. A field goal would get him the lead, but that's not what they're shooting for as they come up on third down. Now Connor. But he will have the first down before he's tackled at the 12. Call it a one-yard gain on the play, and it'll move the chains. We ought to come up with a T-shirt and sell it that says, no indecision on third and one. And we didn't see it on that run, did we? Got his shoulders square, just got right into the line of scrimmage and picked it up. Absolutely. Picked his lane, went with it, and converted. From down at the 12, it's first and 10. Shotgun now for Murray. And that is caught. Touchdown, Cardinals. Max Williams there to make the grab. And the Cardinals have broken the tie. That's almost just not right. You cover everybody, but those tight ends, they can be awfully reliable. Very reliable. It, the defense just has to hate those guys. This drives them crazy because oftentimes you can't match up with them. They have you either with size, speed, or maybe even just strength. Prater on to add the extra point. And it's good. That makes it a 28-21 game. So that drive in total eight plays. And the Cardinals cap it with a touchdown. After the touchdown, out is Prater to kick. And this will make it into the end zone. And they'll bring it out to the 25 as Agnew elects for the touchback. Out comes the Jacksonville offense as they get set to take over here. And a tight game after punting last time. See if they can get something going on this drive. As they head to the field now with the game this close, you've got to feel there's a sense of urgency for them going on offense right now. But they have to do it without letting panic creep in and affect their play. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. And that is going to do it for this third quarter of action. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports. The run only got a yard. Here's second and nine. And the pressure will bring him down here. The Cardinals get home for the sack. Marcus Golden able to get in there for his second sack of the afternoon. This offensive line flat out cannot handle this pass rush. We've seen it demonstrated time and time again to the tune of seven sacks in this game thus far. The Jaguars on third down, lacking much success, just two for seven to this point. This is third and 16. They'll set up to throw, and that will be incomplete. I like what they tried to do there, tried to hit him with something quick, get the ball in his hands, 
and hope he could make some yards after the catch and pick up a first down. Weren't able to do so on that play. Here's Logan Cook now as he's on for the fifth time here today. And he deserves a bronze leg as he gets this one away. It's a 42-yard punt. They keep him to just a yard on the return. And that will come the offense as they take over. And here comes a big tight end as he gets set for this next drive. And this is how the game has trended for him numbers-wise. He's really picked it up. And i, I got to be honest, I don't know schematically. This is where I need you. What does the defense need to do to get back to that start that they had on him? You've got to harass him early in his route. Right off the line of scrimmage, someone needs to be there. So it's not what we call a free release, where he just gets into the route so easily. Because once he builds up momentum and speed, forget it, you're done. Knock him off of that, chip away at his timing, and then make sure you have a second person there in the vicinity as well. Too big and too strong, usually, for one person to handle. now on first down that's complete to Edmonds his running back not much there only a yard They only got a yard out of that last completion, and that makes this second and nine. Operating from the gun, Murray. Caught left side, Hopkins. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Jaguars' 22-yard line. A gain there of 21 yards. And these guys certainly are not hiding what their intention is. They're absolutely showing it. They're definitely not going to sit on this lead here in the fourth quarter. <laughs> on first and ten is Connor. And he's going to get this one down inside the 15. A solid run on first down. Gain of seven leaves him with a second and three. I know that every now and then we get in those meetings with coaches, and you almost want to roll your eyes when they talk about staying on schedule when they're moving the football. But would you say a seven-yard run is ahead of schedule? Fourth quarter with the lead, you love that, don't you? No doubt about it, because staying on schedule is trying to get four downs on first down. They did that plus three. Now left side on the swing pass. And the Cardinals are going to have a first and goal coming up as he's out of bounds at the two. A solid pickup of 12 yards, and now they're knocking on the door. They ran that one well, and not only did they pick up a nice chunk of yardage on the screen, they sent a message to the defense. Rush the passer all you want, but you better be careful. We can hit you going back the other direction. They'll look to run with Connor, and this will result in him losing yardage. Back to the three. It's a loss of a yard there, and it's second down. And even with the loss on first down, they did a nice job holding on to the football. And they can still run it two more times and take some time off the clock and even take some of the timeouts away from the defense and then possibly kick a field goal and go up two scores. They're in a great spot. So they're backed up to the three-yard line, second and goal. Murray going to throw. Steps away to his left. And he'll take this one in for the Arizona touchdown. A three-yard touchdown run. And the Cardinals push further out in front. Defensively by now, you know his ability. You know he has it in him to take off and run. Yeah, because they knew coming into this game, but we've already seen examples in this contest that he can run the football. I think they're going to examine different ways to rush him now. Is it, are they going to do it with different lanes? Are they going to use a spy? But they have to come up with options because right now, he's hurting them. 
Now Prater to add the PAT. And he's been a busy man. Five for five now as he knocks another one through to extend the lead. So this drive spans seven plays. And the play that polished it off was the touchdown run by Kyler Murray. After the touchdown, out is Prater to kick. To return, here's Agnew. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. Jacksonville back on offense and ready to take over. And with this deficit, you can't have too many more drives like the last drive where you had to punt it away. You know what I would tell my offense right here? The punter doesn't exist, guys. He doesn't even exist. He's not a team anymore. I just cut him, all right? So you've got to go out and create some offense for us here and give us some points. No way does that guy get on the field on this drive. Oh, poor punter. Yeah, he, it, it wasn't his fault. But, so, hey, listen, if some guy, there's got to be casualties at times. We're trying to win a game. The completion was given up, but that's why you play zone defense, so that you can have people around the ball when it's caught and you don't give up much run after the catch. Facing a second and two after that last catch, good for eight yards. The cards get to him here. He's brought down for a sack. Jordan Hicks picks up his second sack of the afternoon. Blitz came there from the inside, and there just wasn't much resistance. No, not at all. That means that defensively, they timed it up perfectly and matched up perfectly. They drew all the blockers to the other guys, left a free runner back to the quarterback, and you know what a free runner turns into? What? A free hitter. The Jaguars on third down. They've struggled to the tune of two for eight so far. This is third and 10. The open man is Shark, it's complete. And he is going to have a Jags first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. The Jags picking up the first down there, a gain of 12. All right, this is the time of the game where they're down a couple of scores, and they've really got to get some yards in chunks, and they know the defense doesn't want to give those up, but they've got to find a way to take them anyway. Now the question is, can they string a few of those together? So here's a first and 10 at the 38. From the shotgun, he'll look to throw. This is Chenault on the receiving end. And he'll be taken down across the 50 at the 45 in enemy territory. 17 more yards on that one as they keep the drive rolling. Quarterbacks love slant routes because the receivers are breaking right into their line of vision. And receivers love them as well because they're getting the ball on the move and able to catch it and try and get upfield and gain additional yardage. So into Cardinal territory now. It's first and 10 at the 45-yard line. Out of the gun. They'll look to throw. Connection made with Chenault. And he's going to get this inside the 30. 17 more yards. They had 17 on the previous snap as well. down to the left side here for Eifert a gain of six there on first you got the big lead defensively willing to give them that underneath stuff right and this is why you work on your tackling tackle them after the catch inbounds keep the clock running just go ahead and bleed the game out that way Got 
So second and four from the 22. And this one incomplete. Too much contact to hold on to that one, and it's third down. Here's the seventh play of this drive. This is third and four. They'll look to throw again. And that is incomplete. Quarterbacks work all the time on manipulating a defense with their eyes and their head movement. In this case, he just stared the receiver down. That allowed for excellent coverage, able to knock that one away. All right, they're going to try and keep hope alive here on fourth down. They're going for it. As expected, they're going for it to keep the drive alive. That is caught inside the five. And stopped a few yards shy of the goal line at the three. The time to pull out the stops is now, and they convert there on fourth down. Felt compelled to go for it there on fourth down, trailing in the fourth quarter. They got it done. And there's always a lot of pressure on a fourth down call. Doesn't matter the distance. You still have to get it done, as you noted, and they did. It looks like a jumbo set with three tight ends here for first and goal. They'll try to run this one in. And they'll take this one in for a Jags touchdown. A three-yard touchdown run. And the Jaguars have cut it back within a score. Okay, I know it's an old line, but it still applies here. The fat lady has not sung yet. She may be warming up, but she hasn't sung yet. There's still an opportunity. Lambo to add on the extra point. the lead down now to a touchdown. A 10-play drive that time. And it ends with a three-yard scoring run. the touchdown he'll kick this one away that'll be taken about a yard deep and he'll be dropped at the 21 yard line so bringing it out of the end zone proves not a good decision loses him about four yards Here's the Arizona offense now as they get set to take over. They've been rolling the last couple of drives, each inning in touchdowns. So this game is flipped. They were down. Now they're up with the football. We'll see how they handle it. Can we get a spy on the headset now between the head coach and offensive coordinator? Because they've been in attack mode. Had to get back into the game. Now they have the lead. Do you stay on the attack? Or do you dial it back a little bit to try and protect this lead? Well, my cop-out answer would be somewhere in the middle. I think it's going to be a fine line, is it not? I think you're exactly right, but I do think if they can stay aggressive and keep them on their heels, they'll be best served that way. Well, it may seem a little unorthodox to some people. Got the lead, fourth quarter, yet he's still firing away. I think he believes that's the best way to go ahead and win the game. Yeah, a lot of coaches say, let's just run the football, be conservative. He's sticking to his game plan. No, that is his game, and that's what they're going to ride. Took just one play to move all the way to the 44 as they try again on first down. From the gun, Murray. Oh, a battle for it here, and this will be caught. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. 
12 yards to pick up. Good enough for an Arizona first. And the game just keeps evolving. Big guys running those corner routes, so difficult to cover. Clock running under four to play now as they come up on first and ten. They'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. Well, at this stage, that's exactly what you want offensively. Good run on first down, stay in bounds, keep that clock rolling. And look at that play chart that the play caller has in his hands right now. That's what you got to focus in on because that's divided up by sections. And right now, he's looking at that four-minute offense section. What running plays do we have to bleed down the clock and take care of the football? Right now, they're executing really well. And he is close to a first down as he's tackled at the Jaguars 29. Call it a gain of seven, and it gets him a new set of downs. Throwing on first down is Murray. Escaping the pressure right. And he's going to keep it here. And he's going to be taken down right at the line. It won't be a sack, but it's no gain, and it brings up second down. But there was pressure all around him, so the only play was to try and get out of there. I think it was an excellent effort by him just to get back to the line of scrimmage. Fourth quarter, down to the final two minutes, and we've got a one-score game. So the Cardinals, they've got the football here as we get you reset. They've got a second down now as they search for a way to get this one to the finish line. And now right out of the two-minute break, we'll get a timeout used defensively with a minute 56 to go. This is a big third down, and you'd have to think we'd see a timeout right away if they can't stop him here. To throw is Murray. On the screen, this is Edmonds. And he picks up the first down yardage as he takes this one down to the 15. And now we're going to get a timeout defensively. So another stop, 150 left in the football game. Not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and 10. Edmonds running out of the shotgun. And he's brought down just outside of the 10 at the 11. The Jaguars now will use the last of their timeouts as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. shotgun they'll run with Connor and they'll lose yardage here they go backwards to the 13 yard line it'll be a loss of a couple on the play so now third down coming up now obviously that's some good work there defensively being able to stop them and bring up a key third down but if you're on the offensive side of the ball there's an opportunity because I know what defensive guys are thinking right now just stop them get to the ball that means they might not be sound defensively. There could be some opportunities. And you said key third down. Highlight that word. Put it in bold. Here we go. Out of the huddle now for play number nine on this drive. This is third down and eight. Again, it's Connor. And he's going to come up well shy of the first here as the tackle's made right around the 12. Just a one-yard pickup there, and it'll be fourth down.
So on fourth down, out trots the kicker in a big spot here. And the 13-year man puts it through, and that will extend their lead even further. So barring something extraordinary here in the closing stages, that field goal should just about put this one on ice. Yeah, we've got to find two scores. So, you know, we're not going to exactly move it over there yet. It can be done, but, boy, it's going to be a little bit of a stretch for them, isn't it? Yeah, they would have to move incredibly quick and have some luck, too. Prater now will send it away following the made field goal. To return, here's Agnew. And the tackle going to be made right there at the 25-yard line. The Jacksonville offense set to begin their next drive. They have a little bit of time left here, but this one not going to go their way. And this is where, in this situation for me, you just go ahead and run out the clock, shake hands, congratulations, and move on. Because now, <laughs> you're not going to make up for what's happened during the game in this last sequence. We'll see what they do here in this last sequence. Charles, we saw a lot of points go up in this one. Certainly defensively, stuff that they can look at on film, don't you think? No doubt about it. And they've got to go back and check where the errors are, how they're going to fix them, and continue to get better at what they do. But they also need a little adjustment with their confidence. To give up that many points, even if you win a game, that can hurt you. So that'll do it for my partner, Charles Davis, and the best darn crew in the industry. I'm Brandon Gauden. This has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. With that, we sign off from Jacksonville.